The future of our country left in limbo tonight, 34 days without pay or funding to do their jobs. Federal employees say that the government shutdown is putting the safety of every American at risk. No money for the mortgage, for the cars, for the insurance, for the bills that we have. It's been very tough on all of us. The impact being felt within agencies and departments all across the country. Ripples now starting to cross beyond those who work for the government. In addition to employees not getting paid, those who rely on food stamps are worried how they'll make it if the shutdown goes on. State officials in Florida and Georgia say people who receive EBT SNAP benefits already received their benefits for February on January 20th. But at this time, it's not known when more benefits will be distributed. Uh, News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel is live with how the shutdown's causing fear for people who rely on this program. Corley? I spoke with several people who say they don't know how they're going to put food on their table if they don't receive EBT benefits in March. Some say their biggest challenge is making sure they don't run out before then. EBT and SNAP benefits are crucial for Mary Cordova to buy groceries for her five kids and grandkids. With the government partially shut down, Cordova says she's worried if her food stamps will be cut off. You know, I got the help because my income isn't going to be sufficient enough to buy groceries and pay bills in the house for the kids. In Florida and Georgia, government officials say food stamp recipients have already received their benefits for January and February. As of right now, it's unclear if and when March benefits will be distributed. I don't like it at all. Uh, it's very depressing. I don't know why it has to go on so long and they couldn't do something sooner about it. Cordova says she's considering getting a second job so she continue feeding her family if her EBT benefits run out. Because right now I'm already working 40 hours a week on that job, but maybe a second job, a part-time job, you know, to cover groceries. Although she is preparing for the worst, Cordova hopes a shutdown will end soon so she can provide for her family. Government officials encourage EBT users to manage the benefits they have right now wisely. To find out how you can stretch your benefits, we have that information on our website at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.